Okay, this is the Smith Corona Cornet Electric 12. Now, I was at a locksmith the other day, and I want to tell you not to spend your money on the universal slug keys. They're just not right. They don't not only work for this, but for the 46. What you need is an original one. They stamp them out of steel. You can't cut your own out of some softer metal like brass, or I would have done it. What I want to show you about this, though, is, you know, if I'm... Of course, if my carriage is unlocked. So I'm going along, typing, and I make a mistake, and I want to erase, right? Well, don't do it in the typewriter. Don't, you know, yes, that's an eraser tray, they say, yada, yada. But if you have the old, not the old Selectric ribbon, if you have the old pencil eraser thing with the brush, what you want to do is put the paper on the table, right? And then you... You go over it with with it on the table surface, and you can actually erase. If it's in the typewriter, you're not going to get the pressure down to be able to do it. And uh, I hope you guys can see this here. But so, like, I, I didn't push too hard, but it actually erases with the surface of the table, not in the typewriter. Plus, why would you want? Can you see the dust? The, the white, why would you want all that was just for me erasing a little bit, building up in there. You don't want that. Nobody does. So, but that's how you use these old pencil eraser things. If you want to use them efficiently, put them on a table surface where you got some pressure and push with them. I got one more thing I want to show you. Um, just hang on. So on the Smith Corona Clipper, the the problem I had after I was cleaning her up was uh, underneath with the old rubber parts. And then let you know, they, they rebranded the standard, the old flat top glossy thing. That was the complaint about the piano style one was the glare. So then they went to this wrinkle finish. But it's basically just the standard inside. But if you can see where I put the blue there... Uh, that shrink tubing, heat shrink tubing there and there, that was just black little piece of rubber hose. But what its whole job is, is to hold that lousy spring on on each side from walking. It serves no other purpose. And that piece of hose was rotted through and gone on, gone on that side and rotted through on this side. So, you know, it was black originally. But if you just cut a piece, slide it on there, those tangs are like this. Um, you see this drawing I've got. So it's nothing to slide it over there. And while you're at it, uh, securing those those springs on other on each side, because if you have a piece of missing tube and that spring walks over, it's going to stretch, and the other side may hold, but eventually that'll let go. Down lower at the bottom here, kind of like a set of points in a car, right there. Um, why? You know, you just can't get enough light in these things. Right there are two rubber pads, and they need to be secured because they were loose. Luckily, they were in there. You just move this out of the way. I think you got to press a key to make it lift. Um, yeah, there. And, and you just kind of hold it up with something and just put, like, super glue under each rubber pad, top and bottom one, and then you don't have to worry about them leaving, and that just bounces in between the two. So, just just something you want to point out. I wanted to point out because those springs importance, you know, if you lose one or you don't even know that there was supposed to be a piece of rubber hose on there, you know. So, and of course, I got my Howl movie, one of the best typewriter movies of recent in regards to Allen Ginsberg who's kind of like uh a guru when it comes to poetry writing and things like that. I've got his poster up on my wall there as well. Some books. But uh, anyway, take care everybody. Have a good one.